December 28, Current Affairs 2017. IRDA norms allow insurers to begin offshore business from GIFDIFSC. Anushka Sharma named as PETA's Person of the Year. President Kaveen dedicates to the people four projects of the Andhra Pradesh GOVT. On 133rd Congress Party Foundation Day, Rahul says Congress duty is to defend Constitution. President Kaveen inaugurates 100th Indian Economic Association Conference. Anissa Said wins women's 25M pistol gold with new national record. India to overtake UK, France to become fifth largest economy in 2018. PAYTM becomes India's first payments app to cross 100MN downloads on Play Store. Sectoral regulator IRDA has issued regulations for insurance firms to carry out offshore business from Gujarat-based GIFD International Financial Services Center IFSC. Insurance operations will get a major boost with Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India IRDAI, issuing enabling regulations for undertaking offshore insurance business from IFSC, Gujarat International Finance Tax City GIFT, IFSC. Under the regulations, for the first time in the country, foreign insurers are permitted to open IFSC Insurance Office IIO, at GIFT IFSC. Actor Anushka Sharma has been named as PETA's Person of the Year by Animal Rights Organization People for Ethical Treatment of Animals PETA. Known for movies like PK, Jab Takayan and Adil Hai Mushkal, Anushka, who is a vegetarian, has nabbed the title for her efforts to help protect dogs from fireworks. She was also against the use of horses to pull carriages in Mumbai. Anushka Sharma is a proud animal rights proponent whose kindness and initiative know no bounds. The President of India, Sri Ramnath Kavind, dedicated to the people of Andhra Pradesh four projects of the state government at a function held at Velikaputi, Andhra Pradesh. The projects were Andhra Pradesh Fiber Grid, Andhra Pradesh Surveillance Project, Drone Project, and Free Space Optical Communication or FSOC System. Congress Party President Rahul Gandhi on the occasion of 133rd Foundation Day of the Party, it is the duty of his party and the countrymen to defend the constitution and rights of all Indians. The Congress Party was jointly responsible for bringing independence to the country, as well as in drafting the constitution that confers equal rights to all citizens, but that it has come under attack by the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party BJP. The Congress Party was founded on December 28, 1885. President Ramnath Kavind inaugurated the 100th Annual Conference of the Indian Economic Association at Acharya Nagarjuna University in Gunter of Andhra Pradesh. The event will be held for four days. Indian Economic Association is a registered body of Indian economic professionals, established way back in 1917, with the objective of providing a forum for debate and discussion of policy-oriented issues. The association currently has 5,000-plus members, both individual and institutional. Haryana shooter Anissa Said won the women's 25M pistol gold with a new record at the ongoing 61st National Shooting Championship competitions, 61st NSCC. Anissa shot a new finals national record score of 33 to prevail over the Maharashtra duo of Shaital Shivaji Thord and Rahi Sarnabat, who won the silver and bronze medals respectively at the National Games shooting range. 61st National Shooting Championship in Small Bore Rifle and Pistol event at the Ruvananthapuram, Kerala. India is set to leapfrog Britain and France next year to become the world's fifth largest economy in dollar terms. The Centre for Economics and Business Research CEBR, Consultancy's 2018 World Economic League table painted an upbeat view of the global economy, boosted by cheap energy and technology prices. India's economy has still caught up with that of France and the UK and next year will overtake both of them. India's ascent is part of a trend that will see Asian economies increasingly dominate the top 10 largest economies over the next 15 years. India's largest mobile-first financial services platform, PAYTM announced that its app has crossed the 100 million milestones on Google Play Store in the second week of December 2017. This makes PAYTM the country's first payments app to cross the 100 million downloads mark. The platform allows users to do online recharges and bill payments, book movie tickets, do travel bookings among others.